I'm Saul Kirsch with Double Alpha Academy, and I'm very pleased today to introduce to you our latest product, our new Double Alpha Seymour mount. We learned a lot from the previous model, and we tried to incorporate all the best features that that mount had and make some changes and improvement to make an even better product. The mount that we offer is available in two different heights, one designed for the STI or 2011 and the lower mount designed for the Tankfolio and the Tankfolio style pistols. Both models are available in a choice of two colors, either in silver or in black colors. Now these mounts include some very unique features, the first of which uh, is a detachable magnetic support arm and this arm uh, is held in place by a strong magnet which is assembled underneath the Seymour inside the body of the mount and this arm here is designed to provide support for the gun and to lift it off the table to prop it off the table on those stages where you might need to get a fast grip of the gun on a pickup stage lifted off the table the pin itself is symmetrical and can be mounted from both sides either side and should you need to pack the gun away in an insert sleeve easily removed without any tools but it will stay firmly in place while you shoot. So this is one of the new features of the mount. These mounts are the first to the best of my knowledge which incorporate steel inserts in the upper section of the mount, inserts which allow the screws which are holding the Seymours in place, which hold the Seymour in place to be attached to steel threads rather than being threaded into the aluminum surface of the mount. This is obviously a lot stronger and more durable and should the thread ever be damaged for whatever reason you can simply knock out those nuts and insert new nuts which will give you a fresh thread and enable you to continue to use the mount. On the upper surface here you can see the pocket where that magnet is inserted, the magnet which holds the support arm in place. This new uh, mount is CNC machine from a high grade aluminum profile and we used an extra thick material on the upper section here. It starts life being 6 millimeters thick which gives us uh, the height and the sturdiness that we need to insert the magnets as well as those steel nuts which uh, hold the screws which attach the Seymour in place. We angled the edge of the mount here, we cut that out extensively and this helps uh, to minimize the chance of any ejection problems that you have while shooting, uh, ejecting the brass from the pistol. Especially the cutout from the back here will help to facilitate smoother ejection and a better functioning mount. Mm -hmm. Obviously the design itself of the mount uh, aims to center the dot exactly above the middle of the sight. So there is in place a step of material on the lower section of the mount here which is designed for a slim frame uh, 2011 and should you be shooting with a wider frame you may choose to shave off a little material over there there's plenty of material to work with and you'll have no strength or integrity problems a new design uh, feature that is incorporated in this mount is the thumb rest system this mount has an adjustable thumb rest it's the first time we've used this type of mechanism for the thumb rest it offers approximately 30 different mounting positions and gives you the choice of mounting the paddle either at a 30 or a 45 degree angle. We found that these two options really are all that's needed for most users. You can find the right position, the right forward, backwards, height and angle position to position your thumb uh, paddle in the ideal location for you. Should you choose not to use it, you can obviously take it off the mount and use that mount without the side panel. In order to assemble the paddles and to change their angle, these paddles have a series of holes in them and the front two holes are designed to be used by a screw which is screwed into place into the body of the paddle. When you position the screw in the forward hole, that paddle will mount at a 30 degree angle. If you wish to mount the paddle at 45 degrees, you simply reposition that screw into the middle hole. Now the second screw comes into place from the inside of the mount, and you can see that positioned over here. That countersunk screw here screws into the paddle and works together with the head of the front screw to secure and to stabilize and to lock the support paddle on the outside of the mount in the position and at the angle that you choose to use. The series of holes provided here give you a wide selection of positions and angles in which to position uh, the paddle. And again, should you choose not to use it, you can always remove it and use the scope mount without the thumb rest. 
These uh, mounts come supplied with five mounting holes. These holes uh, are compatible with the Seymour pattern for the first, middle and forward hole and additional two holes are spaced in between. The tank folio model is supplied with four mounting holes 10 millimeters apart uh, in accordance with the hole pattern on the tank folio pistols. So this is the all new double alpha Seymour mount and its unique features. It is now available and online at doublealpha.biz.